53 miles now. Well, these appear to be heading uh, directly at us. I'm coming toward steady up uh, 150 for 33 hours. Okay, so I just turned the jet, and here we are tracking now steer port number five. So you can see it here, number five, and it's pretty far away on your uh, MFD. So if you want to see it, you will click the buttons. So now it's 60 or you will do shift 11 or shift 12. Shift 11 will decrease the HSD scale and shift 12 will increase it. Now here you can see the white lines are the route that you're supposed to take and the circles are the different steer points. Right now, steer point number five is flashing, and you can see more or less the route of your mission. Here, you can see the scale is now 60, and you can make it lower. Or higher, 120, 60, 30, 15. Here you can see it better, right there. And if you go up, you have a better view of the whole battlefield. This blue circle, like a bullseye, is a bullseye. This is a point of reference in your mission. And we'll talk about that in a different tutorial. Right now you need to know that this is currently displaying the route of your mission. Let's go back to 30. Now if you go back up to your HUD or HUD, you will see different cues here. Like the diamond right there. That is the position of the selected steer point that you're flying into. I don't know if you can see the top pole right there next to your flat path marker is this circle It's supposed to be where the plane's nose is pointing at and these lines are the artificial horizon so you can tell if you are climbing or going down Right now you're descending, uh, we'll say about 0.5 degrees. This is your gun cross, right there. Here it displays your speed, I'm sorry, your altitude, 5,870 feet. And this is your scale. So it will go up or down based on your movement. Let me show you how it looks. So right now we're climbing or descending or just keep it steady. Right here on the bottom you can see your compass. Right now you are going on a heading of 360 degrees. If you turn you will see it moving from one side to the other. and back there it goes now your left it tells you the mode that you're currently in so it's nav which is the default mode the arm is telling you that you jet as arm and ready to fire so your arm and dangerous this is your airspeed and this is the scale of your airspeed down is 300 knots, above is 350 knots. In here is your G indicator. You can get it with the H. 
right now you're just doing one G. So your H will change different displays on your HED. Like there, you will erase your altitude and your ladder. And if you hit it again, it will clear. So I'm just pressing H so you can erase or display different kinds of cues. I'm going to pause it here so you can see this other cue right here in the bottom. That is telling you that your steering cue or point is outside your HUD to that part of your jet. So right now your steer point is to the right and you're almost on top of it. So let me show you how it will look. Just keep an eye on that little signal. And I'm going to turn the jet so you can see how it changes. Right there, keep an eye on it. And there it goes. It becomes a diamond when your HUD is displaying your steering point. Now let's see what else can I show you here. This little C right there, I think you can see it. You can see it is currently displaying your airspeed, but there are still three different options that you can select. So if you go to your right panel, let me go in 2D view and go back here is this switch. This is your airspeed switch. The CAS is the calibrated speed. It displays that C on your HUD. The TAS, T-A-S, is the true airspeed. And it will display a T next to the airspeed. And the G is for ground speed. Okay, and the last thing is your cat pole right there. That little guy is a circle with a line and he's telling you where the steer point is. If you just want to get to your steer point, you will keep your flight path marker right on that cat pole. Right now it's telling you that we passed the steer point. It's behind us. It should be. There it is. The top pole is telling you with that line that the steer point number five is behind us.